virtual voice. Online tools like blogs and YouTube put a digital spin on PEI politics. Good evening. We're expecting both a federal and a provincial election this year. You can be sure the Internet is going to play a prominent role. Online tools like blogs and YouTube offer politicians and their critics a direct and easy way to get their message out. And as Aaron Moore reports tonight, they're already using them. It may look and sound like a music video, but this is political activism YouTube style. Disabilities activist Stephen Pate put the video together to voice his opposition to funding cuts for a government disabilities program. Now, anyone anywhere in the world with an internet connection can watch it. It's the fastest way and the cheapest way for me to get the message out, whatever the message is, and this is a, a sort of a political activism, social activism message. This video is just a small part of Pate's biggest online advocacy tool, his blog which is like an online diary that readers can comment on. I can say things on the blog that I can't say in, in the paper. You know, I can, I can be much more scathing. I can be more direct in my attacks. There are more than 55 million blogs on the internet, with people all over the world writing about every topic imaginable. But more and more new bloggers like Stephen Pate are focusing on political issues, and this has resulted in the new term, blogotics. And this is what's going to change politics. Rob Patterson has been blogging for five years, and that makes him a blogging veteran. He says politics and blogging are a natural combination, whether you're an activist or a politician. If you were running as an MLA, you could say, you know, this is what I think about education. And then you could have literally have hundreds of people debating your point, not just with you, but with each other. And then you have a good chance of actually some decent ideas actually coming out. In the last provincial election, bloggers went online to discuss the issues, and some politicians started blogging as a way to reach out to voters. That's what Cynthia Dunsford is doing. She's running for a provincial liberal nomination, and although she's had a personal blog for a few years, she just decided to launch a political one. I know the impact and I know the effect that it can have as far as uh, reaching a broad amount of people and as well as you know having people participate in in what it is you're talking about it, it's completely effective and it's proven but the growing popularity of blogs doesn't mean traditional media are on their way out Stephen Pate says blogs work best in conjunction with other media something happens in the Guardian we put it back in the blog and it stays there forever and then we link back to the Guardian we link to CBC we link to the graphic we link to all the external media and it I think it, it, uh, it just reinforces the whole story. So far, more than 500 people have watched the YouTube video on his blog. That's in just three days. A sequel, he says, is in the works. Aaron Moore, CBC News, Charlottetown.